Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to do a simple rundown of major releases that was announced in February of 2022. So most of these things we talked about them on the channel and some of them you guys didn't get the opportunity to see them owing to the fact that some of them were just bug fix releases and some of the other ones were just very tiny updates that you probably didn't get to see. So with that said, let's get right into it. Blender, the world's most viral and professional 3D content development and creation open source tool, had its version 3.2 alpha announced. Now, this announcement actually came shortly after 3.1 made it to beta, and this new update promises to improve the quality of texturing, sculpting, geometry nodes, editing, and working with mesh, with some other cool improvements that couldn't make it to previous versions of Blender. Now, with hopes of getting hair and physics into the evergreen geometry node, Blender 3.2 surely brings a lot of hope to the Blender community. Plasticity is a low-cost artist-friendly alternative to tools like Moe and Fusion 360 aimed at concept art. With a streamlined user interface, context-sensitive widgets, and pop-up, this simple-to-use knobs-based editor ships with Blender Lite keybinds for operations. By integrating 2D curves and 3D primitives with Boolean operations, extruding faces, and chamfering or filleting edges, users can quickly create sophisticated hard surface models for use in DCC or CAD applications. Models can be exported as C3D, OBJ, STEP file, IGS, or SAT format. Plasticity is available in public beta for Windows and Mac OS X, with Linux versions coming soon. Luxion has released Keyshot 11, a major update to its rendering and technical animation software that introduces new 3D painting, physics capabilities, and a CMF material management system. Something else that ships with Keyshot 11 is importing of deformable FBX motions. So at this point, if you do have a 3D character that you've animated somewhere else, you can now import this into Keyshot and get that better render that you want. It also makes sense to mention that world and also environment can now be easily animated in Keyshot, and this might just improve your next product architectural or asset rendering. With the new release, Luxian has also announced the discontinuation of perpetual license for Keyshot as the software is now available subscription only, with the entry level of Keyshot HD now replaced with the new subscription only products known as Keyshot Personal Edition. Particle Illusion has been updated by the folks at Boris FX. Particle Illusion is a standalone GPU accelerated 2D and 3D particle generator that allows artists to build particles quickly and easily using an intuitive user interface, which results to engaging particle simulation. The upgrade now includes a new Fluid Dynamics toolkit that allows artists to create organic looking particle motions, as well as the ability to save an entire scene rather than just single emitters to the Particle Illusion emitter library. For those thinking about creating hair, Fibershop 3.2 is now here. Fibershop 3.2, made available by the folks at CGPAL, is an extremely easy to use real time hair cuts creation tool. The update introduces a new workflow for drawing the forms of hair strands by hand, an auto saving feature, and a new live layout support in the design viewport. Fibershop can be tried by hair enthusiasts before purchasing, and it makes sense to see that the folks at CGPAL are continually updating this. Something else to keep in mind is Fibershop is exclusive to Windows only. Plask AI is a tool for enthusiasts and hobbies looking for an easy, free and quick way of making motion captures for their games and animation. This new web-based tool allows users to simply upload a video and with the AI-powered system it extracts the motion which can be downloaded and used for free. These motion capture downloads can be used in CC app of choice or within your game engines with updates being promised by the creators and the hope for a fully robust system is likely to come. Light Tracer Renderer 2.2.1 was released early this month, so this now comes with a couple of new features, and the features includes a new physical base sky model, improved import of specular glossiness asset, physical bloom using FFT image convolution, support for material and render layers to cut out scene parts. You can now get up to 8K by 8K rendering resolutions for GPU with 8 plus gigabytes of memory. As well as a number of bug fixes and UI improvement, the new version of Light Tracer now brings rendering to your doorstep as you can leverage off the desktop app or the web app to get your rendering done. The folks at Epic Games have announced the preview release of Unreal Engine 5 and this is taking it one step closer to production ready release. With additional features and enhancement added to major tools coming to Unreal Engine 5, this is making Unreal Engine 5 the next level tool. Some of the updates and enhancements are seen in tools like Nanite, Lumen, the virtual shadow mapping, 
path tracing, world partitioning, character control, rigs for animation, meta sound, and so much more. This new announcement comes with a lot of excitement and promises to bring an era of new ways of working and developing games for Unreal Engine artists. Optics 2022 is the latest edition of the Optics tool from the folks at Boris FX for applying cinematic effects to still photographs. This is now currently available as a standalone application as well as a Photoshop and a Lightroom plugin. Particle Illusion, a particle generating tool from Boris FX that we've just mentioned, has been integrated into the software, allowing users to apply and adjust over 1,500 preset particle effects from within Optics host app. Regardless of that, there's also a couple of other new effects that has been updated with this, alongside with a new set of portrait retouching tools. There's also a couple of improvements to masking that has been made to make the workflow even way easier. Alpha channels can now be processed by the masking tools, lighting effects, and also render generators. And unlike particle effect this tool doesn't have a free version as for a given charge you can get this tool and it's currently available for both windows and mac and with the wake of february 2022 we also got a brand new tool from the folks at blender foundation Watchtower is a visual tracking tool for film production which aids in visualizing the progress of a short film episode or film sequence as well as unpacking as much information that is needed even down to the duration of the shots and also assets used in it. All of these are done within the confines of a single screen as this helps in breaking down how a scene is viewed and also who and who was assigned to a given task. Now Watchtower is configured to show the edited video in sync with the data, the shot timing, sequencing, grouping, assets and every single thing used in making the shot. And of course, this is something that the folks at Blender Foundation have been working on as this actually started off as a simple Blender add-on known as Edit Breakdown and later on was upgraded to an online application. Watchtower is a web-based application that can fetch data from a live Kitsu web API or a JSON file, allowing it to be easily used in production environments with user authentication or integrated with other task management software via a JSON data interchange. And for those thinking about deployment, and you probably want to test this, links to this is going to be in the description. With the whole world going meta, painting in VR is something lots of you guys would like to do, especially if you own a VR headset. More so, it makes sense to see that you actually have an open source tool that you might want to test out. So. Ecosa Gallery has released OpenBrush 1.0 and this new promising open source virtual reality 3D sketching app is originally derived from Tilt Brush made available by Google. Now this actually allows users paint in 3D space using compatible VR headset and finally exporting the resulting 3D sketch as FBX, GLTF or USD format. And just like Tilt Brush, Open Brush users can control the form of each brush stroke by curving or latching it. And it's very possible to constrain strokes to straight lines or use grid or angle snapping to sketch geometrics as well as organic objects. Open Brush is currently free for Windows, Mac and also Linux. And for those who like to test this out, you need to have a VR headset. Cozy Blankets is a pretty new tool for retopology and this beautiful tool is made entirely to aid the process of creating retopos for complex and simple characters on the go. The tool has received a good number of positivity after we announced the development and private beta opening from the developers and it's currently looking promising. Cozy Blanket is currently teased to be available for iPad users and it also allows multiple hand gestures and also supports for Apple Pencil. Now most of you guys have been asking for an Android version and hopefully Pablo Dubaro alongside with the other developers that are making this beautiful tool might make that available. Photoshop 23.2 is the most recent version of Adobe's image editing and digital painting software. The most significant update in Photoshop 23.2 is the addition of native support for WebP. And WebP is Google's rapidly growing new format for still photos on the internet. Then this means that users no longer need to install Google's free WebP shop plugin to import, edit, generate, or save photos in the WebP format while working with Photoshop. As this isn't something that you could get with previous versions, Photoshop 23.2 brings this as a new feature to the table. Maxon has released the free update for ZBrush 2022. The 2022.0.5 update is more of a maintenance update than a feature one. This is purely a bug fix update to resolve crashes when using the IMM brushes and the spotlight reduce function. 
Snowtrack is a simple and easy to use versioning tool. This app aids users to create versions of their project directly and restore them with just a couple of clicks, with options for users to be able to browse through all the versions of their creative work with instructive thumbnail, artists can easily preview each file type. The library of support has been increasing and recently Blender has been added to the list. Files can be synced to any dedicated cloud service or you can choose from the native Snowtrack cloud service that the folks at Snowtrack actually offers. So if you're looking for a versioning tool that you can use to version your next project, then you might want to consider Snowtrack. Unity has announced that their augmented reality companion app for iOS and Android is now available. The AR companion app, formerly known as the Mask Companion app, allows you to author and capture data using your mobile device, with the ability for you to capture environment and assets, alongside with a set of authoring tools to create and edit contents and layouts for assets. The AR companion app also features a cloud sync for further editing and collaboration in the Unity editor. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at any of the softwares that were mentioned and probably want to read up on all of these documentations, this link to this is going to be in the description. So well to check it out and of course if there's any software that we missed that came out in february or that was released or announced within february please put that in the comment section below and we'll do our best to cover those in subsequent videos tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace